by an object. So the definition of speed, you can write distance covered by an object in a unit time is time speed. Distance covered by an object in unit time. Why we are calling unit time? Because we are saying that 10 kilometers per hour, one hour. We never said this thing that 10 kilometers per two hour, per three hour, no, only one hour. It can be five meters per second, only one second, not two seconds. So that's why always use unit time. Distance covered in unit time. It can be kilometer per hour, it can be meter per second, it depends. Okay, so there is another definition which I give you here now. A rate at which an object is moving. When you are saying that rate, so with respect to time. So same thing, you can write this definition or this which I gave you. Distance covered in unit time or rate at which an object is moving. This is called speed. And unit of speed is kilometer per hour. And how we can calculate speed? Speed we can calculate by using formula distance divided by time. See now, for example, you are coming from Harvard to Sarnabad AM school. Okay, so I will ask you, what was your speed? So of course you cannot tell your speed because from Harvard to Sarnabad when you are coming on the way, maybe you stop, you slow down, on the red signal you stop. So your speed was not same. So what you will do, of course, you will tell me the average speed not accurate speed. So what will be average speed? You will calculate that, you will find out what is the total distance from Harvard to Sarnabad. Then you will divide it by total time taken from Harvard to Sarnabad. You will divide it with that time, you will get the speed. Okay, for example, you are saying that you can, the distance between Harvard and Sarnabad is, suppose 50 kilometers. So you will write 50 km kilometer, and you covered this distance in two hours. That's those. So two h. So it means you will divide. So it becomes 25 kilometer per hour. So in one hour your speed was 25 kilometer. So this is speed 25 kilometer per hour. Is it clear? Okay. So this formula speed distance by time. So you can represent speed as distance by D and time by T. So in some cases, we can also use, replace this speed, use speed by V also. V or S both you can use. V is also represented by, uh, represent for the Speed, why? Because speed and velocity is same, only the difference is direction. So that's why sometimes we are using V for the speed. I will tell you about the velocity, that means. So, like distance, speed does not depend on direction, remember. Either you are moving zigzag path, straight path, doesn't matter, okay? See now, in this case, speed, when object is moving now from green flag to red flag, this car is moving, it covered distance C, one, two, three, four, five, five seconds, it covered distance of 100 meters. So, what is the car's average speed? How you will solve? Simple formula for the speed is distance by time, okay? So, S is equal to distance by time. So what is distance? Distance is given, that is 100. So you would write 100 meter divided by time, time is five seconds. So that is equal to 100 by five, so that is 20. And see unit is meter divided by second. You would write meter per second. So this is speed of this car, that is 20 meter per second, okay? 
Okay. A rocket is traveling at 10 meter per second. How long does it take the rocket to travel? 30 meter. Now in this case, see what is given. Rocket traveling at 10 meter per second. When unit is meter per second, it means what is given? Speed is given. It is meter per second. And how long does it take? Means time. They are asking time. You have to calculate time. And to cover travel a distance of 30 meters of distance is given. So as I told you, the formula is speed is equal to distance by time. Speed is distance by time. So we have to calculate the time. So T will go here. So you can write T is equal to you rearrange the formula, okay? Just cross multiply. If there is nothing here, it means divide by one. Okay, so when you cross multiply, T will go here, S will come here down. Okay, so B is so T is equal to D by S. You can write now what is D? B is 30. What is distance? S is so speed, it is 10. So it is 30 meter, it is 10 meter per second. See now this meter will cancel with this meter. So how much left? This is cancel. So three second. So time is three second. I hope it is clear now. Let's go to the next question. Uh, a race car is traveling at 85 meters per second. How far does rest? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where is the question? A race car is traveling at 85 meters per second. How far does the car travel in three in 30 seconds? So now here, what is given? A car traveling with a speed of this and time. How no? We know this is time with units second. It is meter per second, that's why it is speed. How far does it go? It means distance we have to. So distance is equal to now, same formula. Speed is equal to distance by time. So just rearrange this formula. We have to calculate distance. So D is equal to, this will go here. So you multiply S times T. So what is S? S is 85. Times t that is 30. Just you will simplify it so you will get the answers. Here. So many questions I sent you in the Google Classroom that are the activities about the calculation of the speed. So you have to solve in the same way. Okay, just rearrange these. You have to rearrange the formula. So in this way you will solve. Now, what is velocity? When you are saying that speed is distance covered in unit time. So velocity and speed is the same like the difference between distance and displacement. As I told you, distance, for distance, there is no direction. Same thing in the speed, there is no direction. Whereas in displacement, there is direction. So in velocity, there is direction. When you are saying that, for example, I will write here. My speed is 50 kilometer per hour. Same, I am writing 50 kilometer per hour towards east. So, see now, when I wrote 50 kilometer per hour, it is speed now. 
okay but when i wrote towards east 50 km per hour towards east now it is called velocity only this is the difference so the only difference between speed and velocity is direction so we can say that speed with direction is called velocity okay see now when object is moving forward and backward so how much time taken 5 second but distance is 7 what is speed now of course distance by time 7 by 5 see now 7 by 5 that is 1.4 cm per second this is speed now but if we say what is velocity so velocity because need direction so for velocity we will not write distance travel we will use displacement because there is a direction so that is plus 3 so velocity will be 3 by 5 so that is 0.6 cm per second 